Hello everyone and welcome to this quite unusual episode. So I had a chance to play with a 3D printer and it is called Tivo Tarantula. I chose it unassembled version because I always wanted to learn more about 3D printing. So for this kit I paid 160 euros and later for 15 more euros I bought two additional upgrade parts. My first 3D printed models were actually upgrades for this exact 3D printer, but I actually wasn't satisfied with strength and quality. So that's why I replaced few parts with aluminium ones. So like every first time 3D printer user, I printed lots of useless stuff but it actually looked pretty nice. In my opinion, FDM 3D printers are actually machines for useful and practical projects. So as you can see, I tried to 3D print this brick wall. It will be a nice addition for tabletop gaming, but not for display models. It will require too much effort when covering the visible seam lines and FDM layers, so it is not worth effort. So as a scale modeler, I immediately thought not about display models I could print, but about various tools I could use in my workbench. So basically, for 175 euros, I got a machine that is easy to assemble and is capable of providing quite nice prints. What is most important, I actually learned a lot more about 3D printing, and I know how 3D printer works. Of course, not everything is so easy, printing takes lots of time and it fails sometimes. And noise it generates is another big issue for me. So I know what you're expecting from this episode, and I actually tried to 3D print some models I could display. So my Zill 131 model looked quite lacking, so I think those barrels would be a nice addition. As I mentioned before, FDM printing leaves quite nasty layer marks. I'm using paintbrush and thick layer of paint to help cover that. And even after all those layers, FDM layering is quite visible.
so my 3D printed barrels look like this. And still, I don't think it is worth it. Resin models would be much better. So in conclusion, everything what I can say is that cheap FDM 3D printers are good only for practical and useful parts, and maybe for some big scale props like cosplayers do and other stuff. But big variety of tools, holders and other useful gadgets is where FDM printer shines. And from this perspective, FDM 3D printer is actually everything and much more that I thought it would be. So if you are a skill modeler and you have access to 3D printer, there is actually lots of useful stuff for you to print. But stay away from display models, unless you have expensive resin printer. So thanks for watching this maybe not so interesting episode and see you soon in my upcoming videos.